This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. Yeah, you thought this crazy shit show uh, between Sega is actually uh, would slow down? Oh hell no! In fact, uh, I just recently got a uh, a scoop that apparently two of the writers. Uh, Pontac and Graf, uh, both were trending on Twitter, uh, with a hashtag saying goodbye, so I'm assuming that they will no longer also be involved in the company as writers for Sega, effective immediately. I even have, a, I even have the clip, uh, of, uh, of one of their interviews, uh, which was played on YouTube, uh, just a few days ago. I'll leave the link in the description, and I'll leave the credit right there, I don't actually want to play the video and talk over it. Uh, right now because I don't uh because I'd rather you listen to the full uh or well, the interview part there's actually timestamps right there too so he talked uh where he talks about the Sonic stuff and not the other shit he's talking about it's like a 40 minute cl uh, video uh you get some enjoyment out of it about his time there about this and then all this bullshit like seriously like uh, Pontac and Graf, like, honestly, like, Sega, did you honestly thought these two, these two were gonna save your company when you hired them back when they were, uh, during the Sonic Color days? I mean, the story was a little cheesy and hokey, this is where all the bullshit began, this is how Roger Craig Smith was given his first real dose of dialogue as voicing Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, yes, Colors was a solid game, I'm not gonna lie, but the dialogue, it felt a little cheesy and hokey, but... A lot of people, including myself, let it slide because the gameplay and everything else, you know, was a more more of a positive than the negative. Every now and then, I'm always going to say the positives are going to outweigh the negatives. Unfortunately, later down the road, more Sonic games got more and more stale. Like, seriously, got stale on story. Like, what the hell is this shit? It's like this shit's written for six-year-olds. What the hell? Like, seriously, Sega, fuck. Like, if you guys wanted a writer all along, should have hired me. Fuck, I'm available for free. In fact, right now, I got a, I got like three Sonic game scripts fully done and complete already. I got us carried for the next 10 years if you were to give me a chance. Like, seriously, I got three solid game scripts that are all complete, all done, and I wrote them all my, myself. No help needed. I don't need to be, you know, you don't have to be a Hollywood writer or anybody in the television industry who has this kind of experience to write a solid, a solid script for Sonic the Hedgehog. And knowing Sega, they can't go that route because they can't afford a good solid Hollywood writer. And by the oh, and speaking of that, about the whole Roger Craig Smith thing, I highly doubt they can even af afford Ben. Ben is going to be too expensive, and knowing Sega, they probably won't go with them. Forgot to add that in on the last video, which you all, you know, are highly talking about. It's, high it's highly controversial, but at the end of the day, hey, controversy creates cash. So deal with that shit. I met with everything I said about Roger. Even more so than before. Man, Twitter's been going crazy. And I love it. Yeah, but Pontac and, and Graf, like, you know, I understand, you know. This is the things you're going to get when you have, uh... You know, they're, they're good. Look, they're great at what they do. But when it comes to Sonic the Hedgehog, they just don't get it. It's not their style. They don't get it. They try, damn it. I get, I'll give them credit for that. I'm not gonna completely shit all over the work, but almost half the fan base can't stand them. And I understand, you know, when you sign up to work for Sega, it comes with the territory. You're gonna deal with a lot of these, uh, a lot of these fans that don't like you right off the bat unless you prove them, you know, like, what are you bringing to the table? You know, like, and I understand, you know, Pontac and Graf, obviously, those two, they knew what they signed up for. Well, they do now compared to fucking 10 years ago. And I'm telling you right now, man, with Sonic Dark Infinity, look, I may piss off a few people by saying this, but my game, I honestly think my story can beat Sonic Unleashed's story. And I know it can. I even have sample music, everything, level design maps. I'm just a one-man army. I'm not even a modder or any of this shit. You know, I'm just a storyteller. I know how to write good stories. You may say a lot about me, but the one thing you can't deny is that I can write a better story than any than any of these writers that Sega's had for the last decade. Let's be honest, Sega. Now's your chance. I mean, it's like we're playing a game of chess here. You let Roger Craig go. Now these two are most likely out the door. See? We're cleaning house already. It's spring cleaning. Fucking, it's only January. You see that? 
Making moves, making moves. You get it, Sega? Hell, I'm available for free. Seriously, like, you have no risk here. Like, let's be perfectly honest. I'm not sounding like a crazy Sonic. I'm not talking like... Look, I'm not talking like some insane lunatic Sonic fan like anybody else would probably think I am. You know, I have everything, you know, I have everything organized. I got my scripts, I have the music, sample music, anything. I, I could even present it in a professional manner. You know, I'm not going out there saying, screaming to the heavens, Oh, your game sucks, your game sucks. No, I'm giving you concrete information. I tell the truth here, I don't bullshit you. That's where you get things a little twisted to a lot of the people who keeps commenting saying, Oh, you sound like an anti-Sonic fan. I'm not anti-Sonic fan, by the way, dipshits. I tell the truth, there's a fucking difference. Maybe you should learn how to how to listen to the truth rather than sucking up to these other Sonic YouTubers or nothing but a bunch of sellouts. But that's that's a that's a story for another day. Like seriously, I'm the only one that's actually telling the truth. And guess what? I don't sugarcoat a damn thing here. Ever since you know, with my Sonic Forces speed battle rants being probably the number one ranked on YouTube, because I actually have some balls saying this shit. But besides the point, on Sega, checkmate. Checkmate. I'm waiting for that day. Once that happens, I guarantee you, I'll make your company successful. I'll make your fucking your uh, blue hedgehog relevant again for the first time since the 90s. Because many people are too embarrassed to be a Sonic the Hedgehog fan right now. The movie was just is barely keeping them relevant, and the movie stuff is completely different from the video game stuff. So don't get that shit twisted. That's all I gotta say right now. I gotta get ready for work. All right. Other than that. Let me know what y'all think in the comments section, and I'll see you all later. Deuces!